Hi everyone. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will create another module for our project. As we are going to create a multi-modular project, you should understand modularization. The very important thing is to understand when to create a separate module. This project is an example and I want to show you that how a multi-modular project is created. But keep in mind that it is not always necessary to create multiple modules. If you have a simple application and you know that your code base is not going to grow after a certain level, you can work in the app module only. So make sure do not create modules unnecessarily because every module brings certain amount of overhead and it increases build complexity. And you have to define configurations for each module. So if you create unnecessary modules, it will be hard to make your configuration consistent across multiple modules. And again, if you put everything in one single module, again, your code will become dirty and very hard to maintain. You have to make a balance between creating modules and not creating modules. But right now, you do not need to think too much as here we are creating a sample application to understand how this works. And in this project, I am going to create a separate module for the authentication part of this application. And this is the first feature module that we are going to create. So let's start inside your project. Go to file, create new module. Again, this is an Android module. So select this option from here. And I will put all the feature modules inside a features directory. So here I will write features and then auth for the package name. I will write minitails.features.auth or let's remove the features. Just put minitails.auth. You can change it as per your liking, but I think this is fine. And now let's finish. Now here you can see we have a new directory features inside our project. If you open this inside features, we have auth and inside auth, we have manifest, we have Java and we have the packages. Now first we need to set up the build.gradle file for this features auth module. So open this file from here and for the plugins, I will add hilt and Kotlin KBT. Now inside Android block, we just need this namespace and we need the build feature that says compose to true. Now for dependencies, I will add all the required dependencies here. So I am going to use all these dependencies, for example, core lifecycle, compose dependencies, health and these test and debug implementations. You can get the source code from the repository. So don't worry at all. And one more thing that we need to add is we need to add our project dependency and in every feature module, we need theme. Now sync it and we are done. Now let's go to the package of this auth module. And here first we will create a navigation graph for our auth module. So create a new Kotlin class file and I will name it auth nav graph. It is a file inside this file. First, I will define a root for the authentication module. So here I will write const val auth root and I will use auth. Now for all the auth screens or all the screens that I will have inside this auth module, I will define a sealed class and we need a root for every screen. So here I will write root of type string and inside the sealed class, I will define data object. So the first screen is the splash screen and the same way I will define login and sign up. So inside authentication, we will have splash login and sign up. Now let's define our nav graph. So here, I will create an extension function of nav graph builder to this function. We will pass when the authentication is success. 
so it is a function that we will call when there is a success in authentication and we need the nav controller now inside this nav graph we will define navigation and the start destination is splash now for the root we will write auth root now inside this navigation we will define composables for all the screens but right now we don't have any composable so let's define our first composable that is splash screen i will create a new kotlin class file i will name it splash or i think we can create a separate package to store splash related files i will put the splash here and here we will define a composable now the pattern here that i am going to follow is i will create a splash screen or any feature then screen and i will create one more function because i want to preview this function and to this function i can pass view model if required and to this function i will not pass any view model so that i can easily preview this function and to preview i will define a private function so we have mini tails preview and then composable and private one splash preview and inside preview i will preview this splash so the first thing that i need is the logo of the application so i have the logo ready so i will create a resource file inside this auth module so select android resource directory and here select drawable and inside drawable we will paste the logo now we will use this vector image inside our splash composable so the splash design is going to be very simple we have a column and inside the column we have an icon and this is our logo let's preview it so you can see we have our splash screen ready and this is the light screen and this is the dark screen working absolutely fine right and now we will call the splash inside this splash now right now you think it is useless but later when we pass a view model we will check whether the user is already logged in or not and we will pass the ui state to this splash it will make sense so bear with me now let's go back to our auth nav graph and here we will define the first composable composable for the root we will pass splash dot root and for the composable we will call splash screen now we have to use this auth nav graph in our app module so let's do it let's go to app and first we will add the auth module to our app module and to do this open this build.gradle file for app and here we will add projects dot features dot auth now sync the project and inside our application modules main package we will create a new kotlin class file and we will name it mini tails nav host this is the main nav host of our application we have to create a new composable and it is mini tails nav host we have to pass the nav host controller and inside this function we will create the nav host uh, i think it is wrong nav host so i will delete this import and i will import the composable nav host this one and to this we have to pass nav controller and the start destination the start destination is auth root and for the last parameter we have a trailing lambda now here we will simply call our auth nav graph we have to pass nav controller and on auth success it is nav controller not nav host controller so we will write nav controller here and on auth success so from here we can navigate to the home screen when we have an auth success now we have the auth nav graph called here now we can set our nav host to the main activity and then we can run the application to see the splash screen 
Now here you can see we have called this mini tails nav host inside our main activity. And now we can run the application to see our splash screen. So you can see we are getting our splash screen. I think that is all for this video. I hope you learned something. You can get the source code from the repository. Go to tutorial snapshots directory. So that is all for this video friends. I hope you like this video and learned something. In case you have any problem, you can get the source code from the repository. And if you want to ask something, feel free to comment on the comment section. So thanks for watching everyone. This is Bilal Khan now signing off.